Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Favor and thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make fruit cake from scratch to finish. And if you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell sign behind it. The purpose of the bell sign is to make you get notification whenever I upload a new video. And I upload at least once in a week for now. So without further ado, let's dive right into today's upload. This is the bowl I'm using, then I'm going to break the eggs. I'm using three eggs for this recipe and I'm using the white one, the yolk, I'm going to put that aside. I'll be adding the yolk to it later, so keep watching. After breaking the eggs, I'm going to get the electric mixer and whisk until it becomes very creamy. After whisking for about 4 to 5 minutes, then I'll start adding the sugar gradually. This is after adding the sugar, then I'm going to be adding the yolks. Thereafter, I will whisk until everything blends together. After whisking, I'm going to put the bowl aside. Thereafter, I'll get another empty bowl. Then I'm going to be pouring in some flour. I'll be listing the measurement and the ingredients on the description box. Then after I'll be adding some soda powder, some salt, some baking powder. Then I'll mix everything together. I'm going to bring back the first bowl. Then I'll add the flour gradually and mix. At this point, I won't be using the electric mixer. Instead, I'll be using the manual one. I'm adding the flour gradually so that it blends very well with the already mixed eggs and sugar. This is after adding the lard badge of flour. As you can see, it looks smooth and creamy. Then, at this point, I'm going to be adding some vanilla flavor. Then, I'm going to be adding some coconut oil. Instead of butter, I'm using coconut oil. It looks very good with coconut oil. Then, I'm going to be adding some vinegar. You can't make this recipe without adding vinegar. It makes it look really good. Then, I'm going to be adding some milk, not too much. Thereafter, I will mix until everything blends together. You can see how creamy it looks after adding those ingredients. It looks really good. At this point, you know that yes, it's ready. Then I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to get a, a clean bowl, pour in the fruits. Then I'll add some flour to it so that it doesn't stick to each other. Then I'll mix. 
this is what the fruit looks like then i'm gonna bring back the bowl thereafter i'll pour in, i'll pour the fruit inside the dough then i'll mix it gently so that it goes round it this is what it looks like after mixing it gently thereafter i'm gonna get the pan i'm using this is the pan i'm using i'm gonna rub coconut oil around it you can as well use butter but because i'm using coconut oil for this recipe so i'm gonna rub coconut oil on the pan this is because i don't want the cake to stick to the pan After greasing the pan, I'm going to get the palette and put everything together so that it looks beautiful. Then I'm going to pour it inside the pan. After pouring the dough inside the pan, I'm just going to heat it on the table so that it settles very well. Thereafter, I'll transfer it to the oven. yeah this is after baking for about 40 minutes as you can see it really looks good then i'm gonna leave it to cool down a bit thereafter i'll get the palette and take it around this so it'll be easy for me to bring out the cake from the pan then i'll get a plate and place it on it wow can you see how beautiful this fruit cake is it looks beautiful and it also tastes nice so I'm just gonna get a knife and cut it into my desired size one thing I like about this recipe is that you can use it for your breakfast and you can even use it to pass for your lunch so thank you all for watching please if you get to subscribe to my youtube channel consider subscribing click on the bell and so you'll be the first to know whenever there's a new upload because I've got a lot of amazing content coming so you don't want to miss it right see you in my next video bye